the surveillance footage we reviewed shows that famous clip was a sham edited deceptively by the January 6th committee. The clip was propaganda, not evidence. The actual videotape shows that Hawley was one of many lawmakers being ushered out of the building by Capitol Hill police officers. And in fact, Hawley was at the back of the pack. The coward tape was a lie, one of many from the January 6th committee. If you're a fan of TYT and or you watch all of my videos in particular, because I know y'all do, well, for one, thank you. And two, you may have already seen one that I did where I outlined Tucker Carlson releasing exclusive security video footage of the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. If you haven't seen it, be sure to watch it. As was shown in the opening clip, Tux is trying to make it seem like the coward tape was a lie, like the January 6th committee singled out Senator Josh Hawley. So I wanted to focus on him specifically seeing how I believe that the main reason this famous clip of Hawley was edited that way is due to the fact that seeing this man run, who gave the freedom fist to insurrectionists and wrote a book called Manhood, The Masculine Virtues America Needs, is objectively funny. <laughs> Subjectively speaking, I'm not sure of how this video showing Hawley doing what the January 6th committee showed him doing, what millions saw him doing, was a sham. What? So just because we didn't see the other Congress people running before Hawley, now video of him running is somehow propaganda because he was too slow to keep up. This is suddenly a lie? Is this now evidence of Holly walking, or better yet, running yet bravely? And to be clear, running for your life isn't the problem. You gotta do that sometimes. But what was Holly running from? Along with the rest of Congress, I will be remiss if I didn't mention them too, apparently. Was it the Patriots strongly demanding for direction to the gift shop? Tourists being guided by police? That's what Tucker would have us believe in other parts of this segment, and you would know this if you saw my other video about his Insurrection Tapes coverage. However, I want to include this tweet from Jim Acosta, featuring a statement, which he obtained from Jamie Gangle, from the family of Brian Sicknick, who died a day after defending the Capitol from insurrectionists. It says, in part, the Sicknick family is outraged at the ongoing attack on our family by the unscrupulous and outright sleazy so-called news network of Fox News, who will be doing the bidding of Trump or any of his sycophant followers. No matter what damage is done to the families of the fallen, the officers who put their lives in the line, and all who suffered on January 6th due to the lies started by Trump and spread by the sleaze-slinging outlets like Fox. Josh Hawley is one of those sycophant followers, and we already knew most of the House and Senate ran and hid. They said so, plus there's pictures. Yet, Josh Hawley is so manly that Tucker gives him undivided attention and a revisionist history lesson. Y'all wanna see a MAGA actor get checked over Aunt Jemima's history? Then click the link in the description below for that video. For more of my content, you can find me on my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright, or just use the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. Thanks for watching.